Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another wardrobe update. For today's video, the backdrop is a little bit different. I am in Copenhagen right now and I am staying with my best friend, uh, which I usually do when I am here. So uh, hence the crib behind me, which belongs to her two-year-old son. But I have been in Copenhagen already for some days. I've also bought something already uh, while I've been here. I also have bought some things back in Zurich since the last updates that we also have to talk about. But yes, I have uh, plenty of reasons to be excited uh, to be filming this video right now. But I think we're just gonna go into first things first, or I don't know if it's first things first, but I thought I'd just chat a little bit about what I am wearing right now. So first of all, I'm wearing this cropped 100% uh, wool jacket from Messing With Duty. It's quite similar to what I have in the dark brown, and this jacket also isn't mine. It does belong to my best friend. We're quite different in size she's quite petite she's also not very tall but there are things that we can easily borrow from one another and that is things like jackets or jewelry or even like a few tops so you know when I come here I usually have only a carry-on and I you know I have my own nice things but it's always nice to be able to just you know go pick something out of her closet so I'm enjoying this jacket for a little bit while I'm here and then on top of that I am also wearing these cute butterfly hair clips I just bought those today I found but they were so cute. I've been starting to wear this hairstyle quite often. So when I saw these clips, I thought they would just fit in really well. And actually they are from the same brand as probably some of you know that I have the, the big pink one. I did buy it while in London, but it is from a Danish brand called Monestein. And the clips are quite pricey comparably to uh, other hair clips, but they are of really high quality. They're also made uh, from a material called acetate, which is really difficult to break. And there's a lot of like attention to detail. You also get like a significant warranty. I believe it's two years. So should you manage to break one, then yeah, there's a warranty on them. So I would have really liked to have them in pink, but unfortunately the pink color is now obsolete so I opted for this like yellow color instead and I think these butterfly clips uh, is a certain look and I think it also ties into something that I wanted to talk about which is probably also going to go again as like a theme for some of the other things I've bought so I'll just go straight ahead I think and then actually get into the things that I bought uh, straight after this and it is that for the first time for me or for like my generation things that I used to wear when I was a young teenager are now coming back into style like those trends are coming back and of course I know that trends repeat themselves but this is the first time I'm seeing that happening so some of the things that I was wearing in the mid 2000s are starting to to resurface so for me it's sort of funny and interesting to cherry pick the trends that makes me happy from all of that and then wear those now that i'm you know older because a lot of these trends are awful and i don't want to do them again <laughs> but some of them are are yeah they they make me like i want to incorporate them into my style and i think something like the look with the butterfly hair clips i think that's that's one of those things but yeah like I said there's more like that to talk about and um, it's a very very interesting experience to have that these things are now coming back around so for example obviously the generation above me will have already experienced that like with the 90s I'm assuming the 90s left and then all of a sudden all of that uh, came back around like for me it's the same but with the 2000s so it's so interesting so yeah I have bought some new things since last time and I think let's start with the thing which is most aligned to what I've just said which is that I bought this denim top from and other stories. This top was part of this like limited collection uh, that they do every once in a while. It's like a one sleeve top, which is quite fitted. Like there is really not very stretchy. So either it fits or it doesn't. And I was really intrigued by it. It was actually a friend who brought it to my attention that they had launched it. And then immediately I was like, I really want that. And then I went to try it in store. And then I was actually gonna wait a few weeks uh, until I got to Denmark to buy it there or buy here because it's significantly cheaper to buy these things in Denmark. In Switzerland, everything is marked up by so much. I mean, you've heard me mention that already. But then after only a few days, it started like selling out like crazy, which of course was because it was this like limited edition collection. So I did go and buy it in Zurich store. And then I did feel like, you know, it's something I would have wanted to think a little bit harder about because 
it is like a denim top how often are you really going to wear a denim top but in my defense i've actually already worn it four times which i think is quite impressive and i've worn it with black dress pants and then i've also worn it with my denim skirt i'm gonna pop both outfits up here so you can see it and yes it's just like these outfits are more i will say like out there or creative or at some i'll come up with a few other descriptive words at another point but it's just a little bit different from this like a little bit more like classy and i don't want to say sterile because i don't think that that's the case but it's it's like a different vibe and a different mood to what the majority of my style has looked like or what i have curated to over the past few years so yeah it's just quite different but it's definitely something that i want to make room for in my wardrobe because i felt like both in fashion but also with some other things i felt like i lost myself uh for a little bit there which i think probably most people in life can can relate to that because you know we all have to uh you know invent ourselves in our 20s and um i think i um abandoned a part of myself which also translates to style for a little while there and a lot of personal things went on in my life last year uh, as you guys know i mean you don't know what but you know that something happened and uh, i'm in a really really good place right now and i think that my style also reflecting that is is part of that and i'm actually gonna pop that comment up here now someone made this very interesting comment about how when they were in i don't think it has to be that extreme but someone was in a unhappy relationship for a while and then when that relationship ended their style uh, dramatically changed to something that was more like um i think they said colorful or happy and i think that um that was just interesting and i think i can relate to that on a certain scale like once i feel more like myself and more happy than uh, funnily enough, my style is also reflecting that. But enough about that. Let's talk about what else is new in my wardrobe. I bought this uh, Sarah top in black. It's a basic top. You know how I've been looking for a, a great black turtleneck for such a long time and you now I keep buying ones when I see them. So I also bought this and this is actually like a high neck instead of a turtleneck, which at least in this case it works better because the, the neck isn't like getting loose. It's actually tight fitted to my neck the entire time. It's a viscose and wool mix. I have washed it thrice now. I think I've worn it like eight or nine times and the quality is honestly, I mean, I don't want to say the quality is good, but the fit has stayed and so far so good. So I'm actually really, really pleased with it like regardless of of how long it's gonna last you know of course i don't know uh, that yet but for right now i'm really happy with it so i will be linking to the uh, exact one down below and then i also bought a sarah basic top in white and it's not the exact same one this one is made from viscose but it's a really nice fit i'm really happy with it it's not the one that i'm wearing right now except i'm not happy with it because I spilled coffee on it the first time that I wore it and immediately I put it in water like I let it soak I put oxy action on it because I've ruined a couple of other white things from Zara by spilling like coffee or chocolate or something like that on them and then yes I did that and then after the soak I washed it but it has never gotten white again and the stains are still very significant and mind you I washed this with other white things like my white things from like Evelyne or some of the Danish brands and they are all perfectly white like whenever i spill something on one of my like just regular quality things in white granted i'm quick about it those will remain white if you're just you know a little bit careful and will wash them but since the stains on that ceratop were still there you know i tried washing it again but it didn't work and then i bought another tub the exact same one and then i spilled a little bit of coffee on the sleeve and the exact same thing again and i just like this stain is still there as well and it makes me think of this like other ceratop i have where it was the exact same thing because i really like white basics but there is something about these Sara basics which just completely like absorbs any color from anything because you know it has happened a couple of times because when i tell people about it they made me feel like it was all like it was my fault or i should have done something different but i just now that i've tried it a couple of times and i have all of these other whites that i've managed to take care of it's just not the case and uh, it's just really weird so i think i will have to like stop buying basics in white from sarah to 
the extent that I can because it's such a waste that whenever I buy something and write from Sarah, I can only wear it until I spill on it because that's probably going to happen. Enough about that. I did also buy one more thing from Sarah and this was an impulse purchase, although it was an impulse purchase that uh, like I had seen something similar to that around and really liked them. But then I saw them in Sarah and I bought them. And honestly, like it was definitely like a FOMO thing. I could have waited and found something better and then I could have used used what I have which is similar until then and it's these red shoes these like Bordeaux shoes and they are really really beautiful I don't want to say that they're comfortable because I haven't really worn them yet but they are significantly more comfortable than Sarah's shoes used to be they've been doing some like changes to the sole they've also actually advertised that so that now they have more like um they are easier or like nicer to wear but I haven't worn them yet so I don't really want to say anything yet and also I could have worn the black kitten heels from and all the stories instead of like I didn't need these but you know silly me I also make mistakes and I probably always will then I bought a basic top from H&M but this is actually a little while back I just forgot to include it in the wardrobe updates because accidentally I had like put it away but it's just like a, a sweetheart neckline t-shirt from H&M with a little bit of a rip to it I've only worn it a couple of times but yeah I just want to include it for transparency not that I always do that but I want to do that when I want to do that then there are two things that I bought while I was here in Denmark so far and one of them is this Bordeaux real leather skirt from Arkid and I'd actually been eyeing this for a couple of months but in Switzerland the markup on this skirt is just so unreasonable like I really just didn't want to buy it while I was there but luckily it's also not one of those things that sell out really quickly so I've just kept my eye on like the, the sizes and if they stayed in stock and then once I came to Copenhagen, I actually ordered it online and then, you know, I used like Cupid or something to get like a coupon on top of it. So I actually ended up paying like less than half of what I would have had I, what I would have had I bought the skirt in Zurich. Anyway, I don't want to get that hard into that every time because it's just a factor, but I did get it for such a much lower price here and it's one of those things where like I really have made so many outfits in my mind already and you know it is a leather skirt so it wasn't like exactly cheap I'll do the conversion of what it ended up costing me up here it's also not like the end of the world but it's one of those things where like it's a Bordeaux skirt you know it's not like a black top which I will want to wear every other day but I still think it's one of those things where like you know it's tempting to buy something which is cheap which looks kind of good and then wear it only a couple of times because the investment doesn't feel significant where with this the investment feel a little bit more significant but this skirt is also perfect so like the color is perfect the fit is perfect which I had almost hoped it wouldn't be so I could send it back but just in my experience and I have another video where I want to go more into this I mean we already talk about it a lot but still when you get something which is like the perfect version of something you will probably want to wear that whereas if you get something that you really want but you don't get like the perfect version of that you will still not wear it and you will hunger for another item which is extremely similar or identical to the one that you wanted to begin with because the one that you ended up buying to feel that like want or need is not good enough but this skirt is literally perfect like there is no way that I would see something like this and find a better version but then still I have some like slight doubt about it and I'm not really sure what it is but I think it really is just that it's a, a red like it's a red it's a Bordeaux red skirt skirt and Bordeaux I've also mentioned this multiple times before was always my favorite color when I was younger and then I've taken like a really long break from it except actually the only scarf that I use for winter is Bordeaux red and I do use that all season uh, it's like an, uh, a cashmere scarf that I've had for like three or four years now from one of the local Swiss department stores I'm really happy with it I've been eyeing this skirt for a really, really long time and it is Bordeaux so I think I'll just like give it some time to like get comfortable within my wardrobe because honestly sometimes the things that I end up like wearing the most are buys that are a little bit less bought on this like impulse uh, like this on um, this impulsive uh happiness and like fleeting happiness and actually ends up being some of those things that just like looks really good and it will have this like more like steady uh, level of like joy and use within my wardrobe because at least every time I wear it even if I don't want to wear it every day it is perfect actually something similar to that is like my leopard coat but let's not get too much into that right now so I did buy that 
And then something else which I had also been eyeing for like quite a few months now is a short trench coat. And I did end up getting one from Arcade that I then actually so yeah, I don't even want to get into it, but I didn't send it back. So now it's up for sale for like less of the original uh, price. So I put it up for sale on like one of the Swiss, uh, Swiss, on one of the Swiss websites. But because that one wasn't at all what I wanted and something went wrong, it doesn't matter. I now still wanted a short trench coat and I'd been trying on in store in another stories in Zurich the one that they have there it's extremely nice honestly it's really good quality I don't think the price is like that unreasonable I mean it is unreasonable because it's in Zurich but I was hoping to potentially get it while I was here so I went also in Copenhagen to buy it here but then I was like you know what I still want to like give it a few days you know there are plenty of of those left in my size and then i did manage to find something that was like pretty much identical in the danish store magazin and magazin is like a department store which you know most countries and cities have these like department stores which sells other brands but then they also end up doing like their own line of certain things and uh, magazin has like ex extended their line within the past couple of years so now they're making these really nice basics and uh, actually like leave it to the danes to just make everything in really good quality including the basics which that was good that I mentioned that because it reminds me of something that I have to talk about right after uh, yeah I ended up buying the short trench coat that they have there it was like a 40% less or something like that in price than the one from another stories would have been it's a tiny bit less sturdy where I feel like the one from another stories like it's very crisp and the the form is just very very sturdy like it's a very good quality a trench coat where the magazine is not less good quality but it's just less thick in the fabric if you could say it that way but still really really good so i actually ended up going with that one but it's just to say that if you don't live here in copenhagen you know there is a really good option in another story which i also tried and tested already so i will be linking to that below and then yes what i wanted to get into because I have been on this like journey of trying to find nice, good quality tights for so long. And I have started to like collect a bit of data, I will say. And actually I wanna create another video dedicated only to that also so that people looking up good quality tights or like tips for tights, they'll be able to find that. So I don't wanna include, you know, all of those details here. Also again, if I do that, we'll never leave. But I have been buying some tights just on um, like, you know, I don't want to say impulse because I needed them. It was like emergency tights. So I went to local Danish grocery store, discount grocery store Netto and bought their tights. And they are in such amazing quality and so affordable that I have already bought like 10 pairs just to take them back home with me to Zurich in all types of like types that they have. And I will say, of course, I'm also going to talk about that in the other video, but whatever size you use regularly, don't get your tights in that size. Size up significantly, at least once or two sizes. I've been doing that and it has been really helpful. So I'm wearing these in a L to XL. The quality is really nice. They literally don't make any marks on them, even though I'm out for a while. I mean, Obviously, they're not rip proof, so if something happens, you can rip them, but they still like look really good if you don't rip them. They're just the quality is just honestly really nice. So if you live here in Denmark uh, or you can get this brand, I don't know anywhere else, then they, they're really good quality. It's definitely to the point that if you are a Dane watching, don't get your tights at H&M and stuff like that anymore. And also, I mean, I've had tights from Woolford. I was probably unlucky, but the one time I tried, you know, they were 40 bucks. They ripped almost immediately and I didn't want to go back there. So I would rather get something like this then uh, I would like to invest more than that but what I want to say with that is just like leave it to the Danes to make things in good quality it's almost as if like in Denmark if you don't make things of good quality the Danes are just like less likely to buy it like they won't come back and get it again because some of the stores that I go to here you know where I look for my basics usually I bring I buy something like turtlenecks you know I've found uh, some of my like I found the denim skirts there and so on but yeah my point was just saying that if you make something like that you don't make in good quality the Danes will probably just stop buying it where I don't find that to be the case in other countries and Switzerland included because if I go into Switzerland in my local grocery store to buy tights there which is also an option 
They are significantly more expensive because we are in Switzerland, but the quality is so bad. You know, if it's a windy day, the tights will break. So that is what I have added and also what I have to talk about in terms of that. But I just wanted to quickly touch on denim in general because I have been buying a lot of denim lately and also some things which are definitely more like trend pieces. Like they're not super wearable. Like I bought the like the denim boots from Sarah and this like dark denim. I've also bought this like denim tube top from Envy and I'm happy to own them to be totally honest, but it's not some of those things that are gonna like generate tons of wear. Like I can just see that now already. But, but then I have also added some denim pieces which are already accumulating a ton of wear which are like the denim skirts both the dark one which is also envy and then the lighter one which is danish brand noir i'm pretty certain and then yes of course i have the dark denim skirt from sarah i have this like h&m dark denim jacket and those I'm really wearing so much. And then again, like I just bought this uh, like one sleeved denim top, which is really cool, but like it is a denim top, but I wear it and I really love denim. If you have been a subscriber for a while, you've probably stumbled upon me talking about this before. But when I was younger, like a teenager, I wore so much denim. Like it was literally a thing within my friend group. Like it was talked about. I just loved denim so much. And back then I also had a few like interesting pieces in denim, like a denim coat at the time but I feel like fashion back then was a little bit less fast fashion so it wasn't like there was just like a ton of options of everything to the same degree you know right now denim is in again so I can find whatever the heart my heart desires in denim it wasn't really like that back then so back then just having this like interesting denim coat was yeah interesting enough in itself but what I just wanted to say with that is that denim hasn't really been a thing within my wardrobe for quite a while first of all it hasn't really been on trend I mean of course I have been wearing jeans which are made of denim but on top of that I think you know uh, growing up growing into my style I've developed like a really good like basic sense of style like a very like strong foundation and within that strong foundation something like a one sleeve denim top doesn't go it's almost as if like that goes on top of that but it's really interesting to be back in denim and just see how much I love it uh, again a second time around once it's back because there are some of all of these old styles that are back now that just doesn't like make me happy and that I don't like identify with if you can say it in that way so yeah being a little bit older you know I don't have to experiment uh, this time around the same way I can just cherry pick the trends that are back that I actually enjoy and the denim is one of them so you know don't mind me if I buy a little bit more denim stuff you know I also have the trench coat from Sarah actually and that one I got a lot of questions on when I got it and now actually they just la launched one from uh, the Swedish brand um, I'll link to it down below but that one is actually significantly nicer than the one I had last year and or bought last year and had I just waited for denim to get a little bit more in style I would have been able to like get a nicer denim trench coat because the one that I have found now, it was actually a friend who sent it to me. That one is nicer than the one that I have and they're the same price. So I will be linking to what you're seeing down below. And all of this denim thing really makes me think about uh, the Britney era. I was never really that big on Spice Girls or uh, other band. I was such a huge Britney fan. So this picture with like, you know, uh, I mean, I've shared this whole thing on my Instagram. I should probably turn it into like a little highlight, uh, like a denim uh, story highlight, cause it's kind of funny. But yeah, you know, this old classic photo of Justin and Britney in all of their denim, it really was something that I yeah, really liked when I was younger. And um, I just think it's funny. It also ties in a little bit to what I'm wearing lately because you know I am still me so a lot of what I'm wearing is just like my basics my proof of concepts my outfit formulas and a lot of the time it is a pair of boots it's a skirt it's a fitted top so recently I have really been wearing a lot of just like the new Sarah high neck top that I talked about or some other like similar basic or a sweater like the wool ones I have from Arcade and then one of the denim skirts and then one of my pair of boots either the tall boots or the ankle boots I've been wearing like variations of that because normally, you know, I will wear like the black skirt or a similar skirt. So it's really nice to have like a denim.
denim skirt to pair this outfit with and like some of the jackets that I am currently wearing also fits in very well with this whole aesthetic and then something like you know butterfly clips is something you can pretty much add to any outfit while it's still being like foundationally the outfits that I actually want to wear like you know it doesn't disrupt an entire outfit to have bought like a couple of butterfly hair clips so yeah that was actually what I had to talk about this time around if you have any thoughts you'd like to share please share them in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like so that I know and I will see you in the next video bye guys